Before we get into the video, $25 Summer Shorts is live right now on Sample Industries. $25 shorts with free socks. Every $25 short you buy, you get a pair of free socks with it. Also guys, I'm gonna be doing a huge garage sale of all my clothing items, OG Sample, BBC, Chinatown Market, Honor the Gift, Nike, Puma, Jordan, and all the above, and clothing at a very, very low price. $1 bids, probably a couple of giveaways, a lot of things. Check out the link down below in the description and I will link you guys to my whatnot. Use the code, get $10 in credit as well, and I'll be going live this upcoming Friday. Bookmark that show and I'll see y'all there this upcoming Friday. Let's get it. What's good everybody in the building, man? We were back for another got em early. Woo! In the building today, guys, we have the Red Crush Mac Attack and the Metallic Red Foam Pod. First up today, guys, we got our hands on the upcoming Nike Mac Attack in the Red Crush colorway. And these are set to be releasing on July 29th. We did have the recent release of the Mac Attack in its original colorway in the gray and black. We did a full on review on that. Check it out. Now we have these coming in this white and red crush color, they're calling it. But in hand, looking at it, to me, it's almost like a burgundy, like a little bit light shade of a burgundy, but not a red, not a varsity red. Actually on the box, it says red crush. But to give you guys the best type of idea of that color, this would be more of a maroon burgundy for me. The quality on the shoe is the same to me as on the gray pair that came out recently. You have the white mesh instead of, of course, the gray. The white leather, of course, instead of the gray. And then the black swapped out for this red crush color. On the bottom, you have that same red crush all decked out. On the actual tongue is where one of the bigger changes are. The tongue swapped out the checker that is featured on the actual box's color, which was on the original pair, it had this type of look on the checker box. But on this one, plain Jane, white, gray, and burgundy. No Nike on the inside whatsoever, eight and a half. I told you guys last time, recommending going up half a size. You can go your size, but it's gonna be definitely snug. And it's a more skinny shoe. So if you're wide foot, you're definitely gonna feel a difference wearing these, you know, your, your, your feet gonna explode, bro. Not really, just figuratively. But yeah, July 29th, the Mac Attacks did fairly well. Travis Scott definitely helped push the narrative, push those shoes out to all the hype beasts out there. For this particular colorway, I honestly think this, of course, is gonna be way more easier to get your hands on just because Travis Scott's foot's not in it. It's just like the New Balance 550s. Aldi dropped the collab with New Balance and then later they dropped their own inline colorways that now at this point, the, the 550s, the 650s, you can grab them pretty easily now at this point. It's only the collabs that really matter. Nike kind of tricked a lot of people out there that did not know what this was and they thought it was a collab to go and buy them. And I think now we'll see them slowly just kind of become what they were gonna become if Travis Scott was not in them. You feel what I'm saying? We've seen the Terminators coming out. I like those, the lows. Now we got the Mac Attacks. These are definitely gonna be a shoe that you can grab your hands and for that $120 price point, it's a really good shoe. I mean, this is gonna definitely probably be on a top 10 back to school shoe or a top 10 under $100 when some of these start hitting that you know outlet and going into the sales section, I can definitely see these being an easy pickup for someone out there. I like them, you know, are they amazing? No, but they're nice. They're a nice shoe for a great price. So Mac Attack, stay tuned. I'm gonna do a full on in-depth review on these. So stay tuned for that. But July 29th is the supposed release date for this. So if you are, you know, on there, keep your eyes peeled for the month of July. Now we got here the big shoe actually releasing, I want to say, Alexa, when is July 7th? July 7th is in one week, two days, and nine hours. I want to say July 7th is next Saturday. Let me just check. My bad, correction, July 6th is the release date for the Nike Foam Posit Red Metallic. These originally released in 2012 and then was retroed in 2017 and now being retroed a third time in 2023. Forgive me for maybe uh, making your Alexa go off. I, I just like, I use her a lot, bro. She's here. And maybe you gotta use yours and talk to her more often. So maybe me, you know, saying, hey Alexa, what's the time? The time is 2.57 p.m. Just know that Tony D is controlling your house right now while watching this video. 
I made your Alexa go off. Hopefully I did. If I did, let me know down below in the comment section. Sorry, let's get back to the shoe. But yeah, man, hey, $240 on this bad boy. We did a video yesterday on the top 10 sneakers of July coming up. Go check that video out. And I put this one definitely on the list. This is definitely a very, um, one of the top, in my opinion, at least 10 colorways of foam posits or at least the foam posit one. You had the foam posit pro and then you had the foam posit one, which are very similar, but you know, the pros had the swoosh, the ones don't, but a very iconic colorway for the foams and the, my people out there in the DMV. I know y'all love the foam posits. These though retailing at 240 is um, a $10 increase from some of the previous years. Usually phones are going for 225 at some point. I think the pros were going for like 250 at some point. I believe the ones have now went up to 230 and then now they're at 240. And this one is just here to, you know, to you know, prove that point. We had previously the foam posit white, which was the Penny Hardaway PE that dropped a couple months back. I want to say in March or in April. Now we have in July, the red metallic. And I was really on the fence and very, very close to picking up those pennies. This one I'm picking up. I'm picking this one up because I want a foam posit in my collection, I have foams in my collection downstairs. I have the Yeezy foam posit being one. And I think that's about it right now. I have to check. I had a lot of foams. I had Yeezy foam posits. I had the Pennyweight All-Star, which was the one that was, it was like a blue. And then it was um, gray suede. It was like a swap. If I could find a picture, I'll show it. I had a pair of like some bolt, metallic bolt joints. I had a good amount. I, like I said, to this day, I think I only have now just those Yeezy foams, the blink joints. So I really want to get foams. The thing is, is that I want specific colorways, especially for the price point that I'm paying. I want pearls. I want eggplants. That's the two colorways I really need. Maybe a royal here and there, but I could pass on it. Eggplants and pearls are my two foams that I really, really want. And I ain't gonna lie, I had an opportunity to get the eggplants a couple years back. I just, it kind of like it dropped and it, it was one of those releases that like they'll drop and it'll just be quiet and then this dies off. Very close and similar to what happened with the Penny Ones. They dropped online, they sold out, and then like months later, stores started getting them in. Soul Play got them in randomly on the Hush Hush. It was just randomly out of nowhere. It was some sort of delay with the shipment, obviously. That's kind of what happened with the eggplants, but at that time, like Soul Play or wherever, what was going on, I, I, none of the stores was getting them for me to grab them. So with that being said, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting these. Um, I haven't put no foams on in a minute. Stay tuned for the review because I want to say foams run small. This is an eight and a half. I might have to get a nine. I know foams like are like they, they run a little bit smaller at last time I checked compared to, you know, previous models and previous shoes out there. This is definitely a very expensive shoe. You know, 230 is more than any really shoe out there. Yeah. I mean, 250, there's a couple of Yeezys at that price. But besides that, it's, it's a it's a hefty price on a shoe. I see it say synthetic materials. Synthetic upper contains synthetic leather. Wow, so this leather is fake. Come on, Nike. Come on, you're doing too much. The foam posit material is very expensive and it's always been expensive. This shoe's been above $200 since it actually dropped in what, 1997. It was a shoe that was originally made for Scotty Pippen. And girl, y'all be making fun of me. Hold on, Scotty Pippen? Okay, Pippen, I'll be saying Pippen. It's, it's just too close. I like Scotty Pimpin, bro. Scotty Pippin. Scotty Pimpin. Okay, that's what it is. Y'all making fun of the pip instead of the pimp. Okay, I now, now I get it. I like I, for some reason I like to I just be saying Scotty Pippin. But right now with everything's going on with his divorce and she got 50%. Yeah, Scotty ain't no pimpin', bro. He's pippin'. He is pippin. Okay, straight up. Sorry, off topic. But it originally was for Scotty. Ended up being for Penny, and uh, the rest is history. So stay tuned. Definitely gonna give you guys full on in-depth review. Probably get that out to y'all this week. Like I'm got a video for tomorrow. Uh, I think it'll be a review for tomorrow. And then probably this review right after it. We're gonna have a lot going on this week. Go and subscribe to my other channels, Too Wild for TV. The links are down below in the description. Go and check out the sample industry sale right now, $25 shorts and enjoy. And I love y'all. I appreciate y'all gloves off this upcoming Thursday. I'm out. Peace.